Hi, I'm Tom Lawrence, and today I'll be demonstrating how Kadabra's DBXL web service tool can help you integrate your InfoPath forms with SQL databases and significantly enhance your reporting scenarios. Plum Consulting is a medium-sized software consulting business. Consultants submit monthly expense reports for travel and other client-related expenses. An InfoPath form has been created that allows consultants to easily fill out monthly expense reports either in the office or offline while at client sites. The consultants enjoy how easy it is to fill out the new expense report, which replaced the less intuitive Excel spreadsheet. The management team wants to get a better idea of how much money is spent per month on transportation, lodging, and meals. This demo will show you how these reporting needs can be managed in SharePoint using standard Export to Excel functionality and how reporting can be enhanced by using Cadabra's DBXL web service. The InfoPath Designer makes it easy to design forms that collect complex structured data. It provides a variety of tools including repeating subsections of the XML schema corresponding to repeating sections of the form. In this example, the expense report item corresponds to a section in the view and each control for the item is bound to a property in the XML document. It is also really easy for the users to fill out common business forms. For example, in this expense report, a user can easily add multiple items to their expense report and categorize expenses. InfoPath totals the expenses automatically and it standardizes the data entry. Now that you have this nice user-friendly form, how do you report on it? SharePoint makes it very easy to publish forms and share data across the company, but reporting on this data, especially repeating data from InfoPath, is not the best experience. In this example, we have used property promotion to export certain properties of the form to the SharePoint list where the forms have been saved. In the case of the repeating items, InfoPath forces you to choose an aggregation function, and the most useful function for reporting would be merge. In SharePoint, you can see all of the merged fields from the repeating sections showing up as individual lines within the row for the document. It is easy to view your data, but what about detailed reporting? What if you wanted to analyze your expense reports and figure out how much you were spending on lodging and transportation per month? Export to Excel is a nice feature, but you can't do any real reporting with the repeating data in SharePoint. Notice that the individual lines from the repeating items have been preserved as individual lines within a single cell in the Excel spreadsheet. This is very hard to analyze without writing complex Visual Basic code in Excel. Unfortunately, without doing so, there's not much in the way of analysis you can do. For example, if you open a pivot table and attempt to select things such as item date, you see that it's simply treating it as a string with line break characters in it. It does not know how to extract this data. There's really no easy way to do it without writing your own code. Using Kadabra's DBXL web service, it is easy to extract the data from your XML documents into a complex SQL schema of your design, which facilitates all kinds of complex types of reporting. For this demonstration, I've created a document type in the Cadabra DBXL tool. I've preloaded the documents from SharePoint. And I have also created a SQL schema with two tables. First, there's a table which contains a row for each expense report. And then there's another table which contains a row for each expense report item in a one to n relationship. There's a foreign key from the item pointing to the report to which that item belongs. What I have not done is created the mapping from the XML document to the SQL database. I'll go ahead and do that now so you can see how easy it is. First, I will insert a mapping for the top level table. The expense report table will correspond to the entire XML document subtree. Now we can map the individual columns. For example, employee name in the SQL schema will correspond 
to the name field under the employee section of the expense report. Notice that the name and structure do not have to be similar. The total is drawn from under the items group where the total node is. Notice also that DBXL is detecting the correct data type based on the XML schema and the SQL schema. Now let's insert the subtree mapping for the items table. We'll insert a table as a child of the other table. Select the items table and then locate the repeating section of the form which is the my item node. Then we'll tell DBXL what the foreign key relationship is. The expense report ID column of expense report item table should be set to the ID column of the parent expense report table. DBXL will now properly maintain the foreign key relationship for you. In addition, we'll bind a few of these fields to the corresponding fields in the XML document. Now the mapping has been established. We save the mapping, and then we hit Reshred All Documents. This will populate the database according to this mapping. Now when we go to the SQL tool, if we open this expense report table, we will see 10 rows with the data that we were extracting, one for each expense report. And in the items table, we will see rows for every item from all the expense reports with the correct foreign key relationship being shown here. I've created a view which is a join on the two tables using the foreign key relationship. This view will make it very easy to do reporting in Excel. It is important to note that the SQL database is a derivative of the original XML document data. This means that if there's a problem with the SQL database or you wish to change the design of the SQL database, it's very easy. Simply modify the SQL schema Modify the mapping in the DBXL tool, and then press the Reshred All Documents button. The SQL database will automatically be rebuilt with the new mapping. This means that if management decides they want to report on data that you are not currently saving to SQL, it's really easy to change the SQL schema to extract the new data and generate new reports on that data. Updates to the SQL database happen automatically, on the fly, as documents are edited and submitted using InfoPath. Recall this SQL view that's reporting all the expense report items. If I submit this expense report that I've just filled out, this will go into DBXL Document Store. It will also be automatically inserted into the database. So if I requery SQL, we will now see that the additional rows have been added at the bottom of the view. This means your reporting is always live to the current state of all your documents. It's very easy to report on data that's stored in the SQL database. Excel can do it. As an example, I'll use the data features of Excel to connect to the SQL server. I'll select my database, and then select the view that contains the join that I want to use. Now my table shows up in Excel. Using the pivot table tool, I can do a variety of types of reporting on this. For example, I can look at all the values by date, and by using the grouping feature, I can get this by month. Recall that we couldn't do this from SharePoint. Now I can put the amount in and see the sums of amounts per month. I could also add categories and I can even filter on the category to show only the reporting items that I was interested in, which was lodging, meals, and transportation. Since the data is stored in a SQL database with meaningful table relationships, you aren't restricted to just using Excel for reporting on it. You can use any reporting package that can use a SQL database. This gives you a lot of power and flexibility for creating reporting solutions. I hope that this demonstration has given you some ideas about how Cadabra's DBXL web service tool for database mapping can help with your reporting scenarios.